The second question requires a little bit more thought because we're looking at angles involving planes. Now a plane is just a face, so we're looking at the angle between the line AG and the plane or the face at the back of my cuboid. They've been very nice and they've actually drawn in the third line that we're interested in, which is A to C. Um, so I'm going to sketch that triangle and isolate it from the rest of the shape and draw in what I know. What do I know so far? Well, I know CG. CG is 10.4. And I can find AC because it is the diagonal of the back face. So let's have a look at the diagonal of the back face. We are looking from A to C. Taking the measurements, we can see that the measurements of the back face are 16.3 and 8.9. I'm going to use Pythagoras theorem 16.3 squared plus 8.9 squared and then I'm going to square root that. I'm doing it in one go because quite frankly it's 10 o'clock at night. I'm going to go home. Go home? Go to bed. I am home. Um, the square root of that is 18.57 and remember what we've just found is we found AC. Going back to my original sketch, we can now label AC with 18.57. Because we're trying to find an angle, we need to now use trigonometry. Labeling my sides, 10.4 is opposite, and 18.57 is the adjacent. O and A, we're using tan. Tan, for an unknown angle, is the opposite, 10.4, over 18.57, the adjacent. We're going to do tan inverse of that fraction. Which gives us an angle of 29.3. It only asks for the angle to the nearest degree, so that's going to be 29 degrees.